was all fab and good in the hood. Hi Tom, do you call me now? Hi, this is Dorothy, for those of you who don't know. Yeah, very beautiful girl, aren't you? Yeah, into health. Thanks. Ooh, gross. Thank you. Okay, so today, quick video on how to make slip and then how to use it. So slip is for you that have got the adult box or for clients that's going to be fired. Um, it's perfect for that because slip just helps them join and stay extra nice and strong and stuck together. Um, those with air dry clay, you can make some slip with the air dry clay if you want and use it, but you really don't really need it. As long as you're smoothing your eddies down completely. Um, with air dry, which is the red clay that you guys will have had, um, then it'll stay nice and strong and will be absolutely fine as long as you seal them edges completely. Okay, so let's make some slip, shall we? So, slip in this little bag here. I've been um, saving all my little bits of shavings off pots that I've been like scraping and smoothing away and stuff like that. Do you want to go one sec? So just like that. What are you doing? No? Okay. So, there's loads of little bits. Can you see tiny little bits of shaving things? So all I'm gonna do to make slip is break them up even smaller, just put them in a little container. Little, this is one of them goo desserts. How amazing are them? Salted caramel ones. Oh my God, my baseballs. So just breaking it up into little bits like this. Obviously, the more slip you want, the more clay you can keep breaking up. But if you work smaller, it's easy. See, little dish full of this. Um, and then to keep the slip will last forever, as long as you keep it in a nice container. Here's a big pot I made from the studio actually, and I've just brought it home with me. Um, so yeah, little bits of clay in a dish, water, add little bits of water and then you can always add more. So I've just kind of added a centimetre, not even a centimetre, yeah maybe a centimetre of water in there. But again, it's just trial and error, there's no set way of doing it, because you're only going to do that and get your paintbrush and just squish, oh man, this paintbrush has had red clay in it, wash your equipment between different clays, so now I've got like some weird slip I probably won't really be able to use, but it's okay. So you're just going to keep squishing and squishing and squishing your clay, if you feel like it's getting, if it's too watery, your water, um, add a bit more clay, if it's too thick and your clay isn't squishing up, then add a bit more, what did I just say, if it's too thick, Add a bit more water. If it's too runny, add a bit more um, clay. So that's all you're going to do with your clay. Just keep squishing it down and you're going to keep squishing it until you get a consistency. Yeah? Can you see it's just like a slop? Yeah? And that is your slip. And that's what you're going to use for your joints. To, to use slip, okay? is I always cut up my rule of thumb. Every potter will use slip in different ways, like there will be a hundred different ways to pinch a pot, that kind of thing. Um, my rule of thumb with slip is any big important joint, um, so if you're going to make a cup, your handle, or a teapot, your spout, or anything that's like, or if you're slab building and you've joined your vase around, it's that big joint that joins them two pieces of clay together. Anything big and heavy, use a bit of slip. Um, yeah, so I have made a little pinch pot, Okay, and then I've made a little creel, and I'm going to make this and to pop it on there so it's a little footed, a little footed pot like this, the cutest little whiskey glass my dad will ever have. Um, so I want to make sure that that is staying nice and stuck on there so that it'll survive the firing and stay strong as stuff. Okay, so I don't. What I'm going to do to use the slip and to make these joints together is something called cross hatching. So, cross hatching is just mark making the two pieces of clay that you want to join together. So, nothing fancy, got my cocktail stick and I am just scoring where I want that coiled foot to go. Yeah? Just mark, just roughly, nothing pretty. And then I'm going to do the same with the coil where I want it to join. So, I'm just covering it like this. Okay, then I've got my slip, I'm just going to add a dollop on, again nothing neat, nothing fancy, just adding it on the one, on the one at surface, uh, you don't need to make it too wet and sticky, I'm going to stick it on, like that, so slip is a clay glue, and it'll just make sure they're um, wet, or just kind of sinking them to them different mark makes, and as it dries it seals and joins it together, okay. There we go, and then to make sure it's extra stuck on and nice and neat and my join is beautiful, I've got a lollipop stick. And I am just going to go round the edges, can you see, and seal that off like that. And that is the best way to use slip and to cross hatch. So 
So if I was to make a unicorn, and um, that normal plate, I would perhaps I'd use it to join the head, the body, the legs together, the horn, the tail. But then if I was just adding really thin pieces of hair, I'd probably just smooth it together because it's not as thick and as heavy. So slip is great. Slip is great for thick, heavy joints because obviously the gravity of clay, the thicker it is, the heavier it is, um, gravity is just going to want to pull it off your pot. So that's why you want to use the cross hatching and using the slip to make them stick together. But if I was just going to make a piece like this and say this was covered in texture and something beautiful and I just wanted to cover my pot and see how thin that is, a really thin piece of clay, I'd press it on and then smooth the edges down yeah and that's also going to stay stuck together and because that thin piece of clay that i've just stuck on there isn't really heavy it's not going to fall off as long as you smoothed it down okay you really didn't, don't need to add slip unnecessarily um because obviously with hand building you don't want anything to be too wet and soggy otherwise again gravity is going to bring it down um so yeah so that's a video on how to make slip and how to use it hope you found it helpful um, any questions give me a shout or if I have to explain things properly or sorry if I've over explained um, but yeah have fun and I shall see you soon bye